Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a really easy way of making a watercolor effect. What I do first of all is I go to my layer here, hit Control J twice, and then the top layer, I'm going to make this into a black and white layer. So to do this, I go down to Adjustments and Curves, and I change the RGB there to CMYK. And to make this black and white, I need to turn down the colors. So I go to Cyan, and just pull down the right node to the bottom. That's taken out the cyan. Go to magenta. Pull down the right node, taken out the magenta. Only color left is yellow. Go to yellow and bring that down. So there you go, there's black and white. And I don't need to change this, so I can hit merge. And turn the top layer off so we can see what we're doing. Go to the next layer. Now I'm going to go to curves again. Now I've got black and white on the top layer. Uh, so I've got the, so I just need the curve. So I need to turn off the black and white now. So I go to CMYK, go to the blacks, and just turn this one down. And there you go, just colours. And I'll merge this as well because I don't need to change it. So turn on the back layer, top layer now. What I'm going to do now is the trick of this, which I go to filters. Detect and detect edges. And kind of it's the wrong way around here. So I want to have it the other way. So I hit Control I to invert it. And there you go. That looks a bit like pencil sketchy, doesn't it? Now I'm just going to take the opacity of this down to about 50%. 50% is a pretty good one. And it's where the blacks go grey, which is like the colour of a pencil. And immediately you've got yourself a rather nice watercolour type effect. We can also play with this further. There's lots we can do with this. So I can go down to the various blend modes. Look at all the different things you start getting here. Some of them aren't so good. Some of them are great. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And all the way down here, all these blend modes gives us a different picture. It's surprising how many like interesting pictures you get in this just by all the different things that you can do. You can play further with the opacity as well. So you get an interesting set of things. Also what you can do with this, let's just leave this on one of those for now. Just say multiply, that's quite nice. And if I click on the top one, shift click to the next one to select both of them, hit control G to turn it into a group. Now I can blend this back to the original layer again. So now I can go down here and get more normal picture types, but again, lots of different looks and so on. So just go along to something like, so you go, oh, pin light, that's quite nice. Bit bright, maybe I can turn this down a bit. Here we go. So there we go, just a loads and loads of different images you can get, very much painterly, very like watercolory, a lot of them. And I hope that was fun, and thank you very much for watching.